What is going on coders? Welcome to this Python 3 video on solid design principles. In this video, we're taking a look at the I in the solid acronym, which stands for the interface segregation principle. And the short definition for that is that interfaces should be granularly split and be as small as possible. All right, so you might be wondering what is actually, does that actually look like in practice? Well, let's first take a look at a bad example that breaks the interface segregation principle. So we're going to have a look at a class called mobile device like that. And that's going to implement three methods, which is going to be voice. And we're just going to say raise not implemented error. And then we're going to have a text and raise the same thing. And then finally, we're going to have camera and a not implemented error. Okay. And essentially, we're just going to put self in here. Um, essentially, we've got this uh, mobile device definition that we can then utilize and inherit from in order to build up a mobile device. So let's say that our company is building this like most amazing out of space type of device. And we're just going to call it best mobile device ever. All right. And we're just going to inherit from mobile device. And what we're going to do here is we're going to copy all of that and put in an implementation. So we're just going to say implementation for voice capability and implementation for text capability. And finally, implementation for camera capability. All right, so that's all well and perfect. Uh, we get to release this mobile device. It's the best thing ever and everybody's happy. However, then our company decides that it wants to take a different segment in the market, which is the kind of old school mobile device. So you're thinking, okay, I can just inherit from mobile device and pretty much do the same thing. And this is where the issue with the interface segregation principle becomes noticeable, which is that if we have a class called old school mobile device like that, and we inherit from mobile device. All right. And then we get to inherit all of these methods by definition as well. So we have these and we have the voice, we have the text and we have the camera. And because this is an old school mobile device, it can really just do only like voice and text. It can't do camera because it doesn't have a camera on the mobile device. It doesn't have a camera on the physical device. So in here, in the base case scenario, what we could do is we can raise a not implemented error like that. And let's imagine that actually someone comes around to use our code and they see that there is this old school mobile device available and they're thinking, okay, so that's inheriting from mobile device. Uh, that's surely gonna have like a voice and a text and a camera implementation, right? And then when they actually start implementing, they start seeing some random errors around the camera. It's only at that point that they actually realize that the old school mobile device doesn't actually have a camera. And ultimately, this is what breaks the interface segregation principle. We end up in an issue where we've got a method that we're inheriting and we can't really do anything with it. The device doesn't have the hardware to support it. So what we need to do is pretty much start again. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to de delete all of this and do an import to start us off with. So we're from ABC, we're going to import abstract base class and abstract method. And now we're going to think about how we can actually split up the initial mobile device class that we had 
and break it down into multiple classes. So remember that we had the phone text and camera slash photo functionality um, in the initial implementation. Well, here what we could do to comply with the interface segregation principle is to actually have a specific class for phone, all right? And that's gonna inherit from abstract base class. And in here, we're just gonna put in the abstract method and we're just gonna type in the voice like that, uh, the voice method, and that's gonna be a pass. And essentially what we could do is for each of the original functions, we're gonna create a brand new class. So for text, we're gonna have a little method called text message on, in the text class. And then finally, we're gonna have a camera class and that's gonna be a photo in here, okay? So with this new segregation that we've uh, created here with these abstract base classes, um, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over on the best mobile phone ever implementation and see how we can create that. So what we can do is just say class best phone best mobile phone ever. And what we're gonna do is in, inherit from phone, from text and from camera. And then we can just copy across these method implementations like so. And essentially what we're doing here is we're overriding these method implementations. So for the voice, we're gonna have the implementation for voice capability, and then for text, we're gonna have the same thing. And finally, for photo, we're gonna have the photo code, photo code capability in here. Okay, so this is all good. So we definitely are able to construct the previously working best mobile phone ever with uh, this new segregation that we've created. And now let's take a look at the, the case which actually showed us that we're breaking the principle, which is the old school mobile phone. So if we do class old school mobile phone, that actually only has the phone and text capabilities. So we can just type in phone and text. And then finally, all we have to do is just copy paste these methods cross like that and we're done. Essentially now what we've created is the old school mobile phone without actually having to inherit any methods which we're not using. So if we wanted to take this a, a step further, if we wanted to, you know, for some reason decide that we're gonna have uh, our company make a device which will only be serving uh, text messages or only text, so sort of like a pager, uh, what we could do is just say class called pager and only have to inherit from text. And that's really taking it a step further because now we just have to inherit or override this uh, single method like that. So definitely splitting up the responsibilities and the actual the actual classes in a way where uh, we have the uh, class for a camera, a class for a text or for per, for per function essentially, really is the best way to uh, have the interface segregation principle work in practice. So that's it for this video guys. I uh, hope this uh, has been useful to you. I hope you've learned something. Uh, please do let me know if you've got any questions about the implementation or the principle itself down in the comments below. And please do comment on any production quality uh, thoughts that you may have around this video or this series. I'm happy to take any feedback that you may have. And I will see you guys in the next and final video in the uh, Solid Design Principles. Thank you for watching.